someone didn't turn their phone off. Shame him! Shame him! <coughs> Welcome to another Make It Vegan Monday! Today on The Edgy Veg, we are going to try and make animal style fries vegan. And here's why. One, you guys requested it. And two, whenever we leave Burning Man, we always go to In-N-Out Burger and I never get to eat anything there. Animal style fries are just french fries topped with this like almost Big Mac style sauce. It's a melted like, I think it's like processed cheese that they use. So we're just gonna use vegan cheese because people always say it's like processed cheese so it works. And then some caramelized onions. The first thing I'm going to do is make animal sauce which is really just a sauce made out of a bunch of other condiment style sauces which I had on hand so that worked out really well. I'm gonna take half a cup of mayo, half a cup of ketchup, we're already off to a weird start. To that weirdness, we're going to add relish and then mustard, so it's like an orgy of condiments. And if that wasn't bad enough, we're gonna add some black pepper, some sugar, and apple cider vinegar. Whisk it all together. Whisk, whisk the weirdo sauce. I'm going to stick that in the fridge while we cook up the fries. We're gonna bake the fries today because that's probably what you're going to do at home anyway. Just get like some sweet shoestring baked fries. While the fries are cooking, I'm going to cut up this white onion, just like a normal chopped onion. You know how to chop an onion? Chop up an onion. Just gonna heat up some oil on a frying pan, toss the onions on there, add a little bit of salt. It's better to do low heat longer time than do high heat and like have burnt onions. Burnt onions smell like B.O. And that's why it's called B.O. because it's, it smells like burnt onions. Instead of using like cheese sauce and making cheese sauce, let's keep this simple. I have two pieces of parchment paper on a plate. I'm just gonna toss four vegan cheese slices on there and put them in the microwave and cook them at 15 second intervals until they're slightly melted. Now let's put this thing together. I have this really cute dish thing. I think I'm supposed to cook like banana bread or like zucchini bread in this or something, but I'm going to use it as a little boat for our fries. Cause it's cute and it kind of gives that fast food feel at home. Add the fries, get some all over the counter because counter fries are better than floor fries. Toss on your onions, add the animal sauce. I'm gonna take that cheese and just take it from the parchment paper and toss it right on there. Oh, that worked out well, perfect. A little bit more sauce, a little bit more onions, and it, it looks like a hot mess, which is the whole idea. Let's eat this like an animal. Wow. There you guys have it. Easy animal style fries. Let's give this a try. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're hogging all the fries here. This is, this is not fair. Yeah, but you were like, mm, I don't like the in-out burger. I know, but these are really good. Mm. Are they carnivore proof? They're definitely carnivore proof. And if you like an in-out burger, you should definitely make these. I want more. Tasty, yet messy. So messy. So messy. So if you like this recipe, give it a big thumbs up and tell us in the comment section below if you want more In-N-Out Burger recipes. And make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, that way you'll never miss out on a video. And thank you so much to our Patreon supporters. If you want to support us as well, we'll leave a link to that below and you can get all sorts of exclusive edgy veg content. And that's it for another Make It Vegan Monday. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I've been reading your comments and some of you have expressed with me your displeasure in the fact that I haven't done a junk food copycat recipe lately.